If you got $100 burning a hole in your pocket, I'm going to show you my latest top pick for an airbrush. Spiky bits. In our quest to find the most affordable, highest quality airbrush and compressor combo out there, we kind of stumbled upon uh, this Harder Steamback Ultra airbrush right here. Now I know I showed you another airbrush for under $100 and I was like, hey, buy this one. And uh, it, it's a great airbrush. I really like the built-in MAC uh, valve on it and everything. It's very easy to use. Uh, but at the end of the day, you just can't beat a harder steam back quality. And I had no idea they had an airbrush this affordable. This actually goes for $90. It's called the Ultra. Uh, you can get it from spraygunner.com, of course, any, anywhere else out there, I'm sure. But well, here in the States, it's easy to order from Spray Gunner. If you're in Europe, yeah, you might want to go with the uh, order it direct from Harder, of course. But what's cool about this airbrush, and I'm about to show you a lot of different things and compare it to the more expensive Evolution brush right here that goes for about 300 bucks, and the ubiquitous Iwata Eclipse that everybody seems enamored with still in this industry, or at least in airbrushing, I, I, I know there's better, way better, more affordable solutions out there, and I'm gonna show you why. Here in the States, spraygunner.com is a great place to start on your airbrush journey. They have super affordable airbrushes, starting with, of course, this hardened steam bag, but they also carry you know, some of the other stuff that you might want as well. I cannot say, enough good things about this airbrush right here. I'm enamored with it. I think the price point is good. I think the needle size is good. Plus, don't tell them I told you this, <laughs> since it's just us here in this video, right? Sometimes they actually have uh, some $80 ones too, like the, the case comes cracked. So sometimes you can kind of catch them on sale. I've noticed a couple times in here when I've been getting the specs and things, uh, they are in here. So be on the lookout for them. You can get it for 80 bucks sometimes. Uh, but it doesn't, it's not always here. Now, this airbrush, I'm going to show you why it's so dope, but, you know, real quick, here's the specs on it. They don't give you a whole lot of information. You do have to do a little bit of digging. It's a 0.2 needle, which is going to be less than your eyewater clips. Uh, it can be upgraded to 0.4 and a 5 mil cup if you want. But the key here is, one of the things I don't like about this is easily mitigated because you can switch out the nozzle with the same one that's on the Evolution that you've seen me use a million times in my paint tutorials. But another cool thing about purchasing from Spray Gunner is that you can get a dope compressor combo with this airbrush. Now we're working with them to get a really cool exclusive bundle. We don't have it yet. I'm trying out some of the compressors, but I will put uh, any information we get in the comments below. They have a series of no-name compressors too, which we're gonna review all of them individually, but right now I just wanna make you aware of it because if you are in the market for it, let's see, compressor, no-name compressor. If you're in the market for a new compressor, these don't suck. As you can kind of tell by looking at it, why are they not showing me the no-names? Here we go. So you can tell right off the bat, some of them look familiar to some of the brands out there. The one I can recommend right now, we've used it in-house, we've streamed with it, is this Galaxy Airbrush. It doesn't have a tank, so it is gonna kick on, but it does hold its pressure, and it's not the quietest, but it's also not super noisy either. For a just tankless compressor, of higher quality, this is basically a generic Sparmax. They can't say that, I can. I can I can look at this one right here and tell you this is a generic Sparmax as well. It just doesn't have the silver bullet regulator trap filter right here. You pick up that airbrush, this compressor, it's a great starting combo for about the price that you would pay for the Iwata Eclipse if you pick it up at like say Hobby Lobby or something, which I heard. They don't even honor the 40% off coupon anymore and they've been getting lower and lower quality as the years progress. So, still not sold. We're trying out this one right here. Uh, the Skyline and the Toothy as well. Haven't made my final determination, but I can tell you without a doubt that this one, this $110 one, uh, is definitely worth your money. Now, this has a tank, so you might want to try it on your own. I can't tell you yet that it's a good one but I have it right here. We will be reviewing it here in the near future. So let's jump in and take a closer look back at the Ultra. And I wanna tell you a lot of things about why this airbrush is definitely worth $90, if not more. So first off, 
you can already tell the Ultra is a little bit slimmer, a little bit tighter, and definitely smaller than the Alwada Eclipse, but it's a lot lighter too. Let's talk about the, in the interior components here. Now here's the spec sheet from the Alwada Eclipse, and the thing I want to draw your attention to is the seals, because one of the biggest things is to keep you know, things from getting corroded, keep your pressures all intact and not have to do a whole lot of maintenance over time on these things here. They have one needle packing set. Uh, this PTFE is basically the, um, the abbreviation for Teflon. It's uh, poly tetra fluoroethylene PTFE. It's, you know, DuPont, it's legit. This is a good, this is a good quality component right here. But you'll notice that everywhere else on here that I've circled is just Buster rubber o-rings uh, the, so the rest of your uh protection against the elements basically besides the actual coating itself which generally in a lot of cases i can't speak to the alwada but i imagine it's nickel plated i know the ultra is nickel plated but there's nothing wrong with nickel plating i mean it will hold up uh just you know sometimes you just want a higher quality component so here's the ultra itself and you can see the components I've circled here. These are all PTFE. So you've got three, you got one in your air, up here in your needle packing, that's to keep junk and corro uh, water, paint mix, air from coming back into the section here. Um, you know, with the needle, well, actually this is gonna be up in here. So it's actually keep it from getting up in this cavity and getting a bunch of uh, gunk and everything up into here where normally there shouldn't be any liquid or air or any paint or anything like that so it's very important that you have a good seal here which they both do and that's important but they go even further and they seal off their air um, their air pressure valve area right here and then also to keep paint from going back and forth into the mixing area right here as well so higher quality components right off the bat they've got three of them right there this is also nickel plated i believe just like the awada i don't know for sure and you can also see that you can switch out which you can't do with the awada between 0.2 millimeter and 0.4 millimeter now there's a lot more components to this one here which uh there is also the siphon version but you want to stay away from the siphon version in our industry so real quick let's take a look at some of the components here that are important you're going to be able to get back into here. There's no additional O-rings or anything. You just got really good tolerances to all this. You're gonna be able to set your pullback right here with this adjustment. So you can get a lot of pull or a very tight pull depending on what you're used to right there. I'm gonna bring it back a little, a couple right there. Pull off the quick release valve, which by the way, I always, when we're about to do some airbrushing, I always recommend a manual air control valve so you can get down to those lower pressures to do those fades. There you can see, just with a flathead screwdriver, you can adjust your push for your air release coming up into here. I've got it about halfway. It's pretty good, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's about the same as my Evolution. So a lot of adjustments that you can't make with some of the other airbrushes. and. I don't, I'll be honest, I don't like this front fairing right here. It makes back flushing a little bit more difficult as you've probably seen. Also, this doesn't screw in, this just pops out. So you wanna be aware of that because I've actually made a mess. Uh, I didn't realize that at first and I got paint everywhere. But uh, it makes cleaning a lot easier, of course. I always use just water and sometimes a little bit of lube on the needle and there, with all these uh, good coatings and interior packings, you really don't need to use anything else. So doing back flushing, which you're about to see, sometimes you get uh, this cap from a uh, harder steam back and you just put it in like this and do the back flushing and that's all you need. Now, if you don't like that, if you're just starting out and you're willing to try it, that's great. But here's the thing, you can actually switch out this, I already tried it, this actually works, this front and this is a 0.2 needle, actually fits into here. Now, this is a triple plated, no, a triple coated chrome. So this is a little bit better component. Um, so you will notice a difference between the materials right, right there, but it will fit and it does make back flushing a snap because you just kind of, you know, you just kind of pinch it right there and you get that build up that pressure and stuff. Be careful not to pinch yourself because you don't want to inject air into your, <laughs> into your uh you know body that that could end very badly so be careful anyways 
Uh, so this fairing, I'm not I'm not 100% sold on it. Uh, it takes some getting used to, I'll be honest. But uh, let's throw some paint in here and show you how tight of lines we can get. Okay, so we've loaded in a little bit of True Copper from Army Painter and we've done our back flushes, but again, this is how it works. You just put the cap on the end there. Or again, you can spend the money and switch out the front nozzle. I would recommend switching it out, it drives me nuts. But if you're willing to learn on it, hey, why not? Okay, so we're gonna grab some custodies here and you can see where I got a little bit of coffee staining underneath here, so we need to correct that. So we're gonna go in. Now, I have the pullback set pretty far and here's why you need a manual air control valve because I'm going to, this is full blast and I'm at 30 PSI on the compressor, right? Now, if I pull this back all the way and just pull it up a little bit, I can get really, I can get that spray down really light. So that way we keep it tight and we don't make any mistakes. Now here, there's a little bit of coffee staining with a highlight over it, so I know that I didn't catch. So we're just going to push down and slowly pull back because we got that resistance that we're able to adjust. And, we're, and we got a good test spray. So I'm gonna go in here, hit it with some air, and just complete the miss. <laughs> Takes a little getting used to, but there we go, okay. So just working it through, it is a little watery, and of course it's gonna be darker because, well, <laughs> it is darker. Over a copper, over a gold. But very nice and easy. Pushing down and slowly pulling back. And we're beginning to really cover all that stuff up. And then we're just giving it a little bit of air to dry it up, and we'll have to work all of this up in a little while with a little bit more golds. But we got that coffee staining covered up, so I'm definitely liking that. Now, uh, as far as spray goes, It does tend to splatter a little bit. I'm not exactly sure if that is because of this fairing right here or perhaps the consistency of uh, the army painter. It is pretty watered down to the point where pushing at those lower pressures, um, it shouldn't have that issue. That's probably why we got some of that on that little black right there, but that's not that big of a deal. So I feel like maybe it's worth switching this out or checking the material. It could just be the flake. It was at the bottom of the bottle. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this right there. And now that it's dry, it looks nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna go in here and touch up some more of this stuff and we'll be right back. I switched back to my evolution, did a little back flushing and it looks like the it's just the paint, it's just kind of speckling a little bit. Sometimes when you work with those metallics, they have a tendency to separate and things and that looks to be uh, just kind of what's happening here but yeah it does speckle just a little bit but overall uh, it isn't the fairing on the end or anything like that so you don't have to worry about that and we are able to still get in there and, uh, and get those tight details but that was good to know a little exercise that just kind of happened to uh, to discover right there so either way I think uh, I think the way to go is to switch out uh, this tip, it just seems to give you a little bit more control over your back flushing and uh, also your spray as well. So overall, I think for under $100, this is probably one of the better airbrushes on the market today. Don't get fooled by the Awada hype. This is probably the airbrush you want right here. You will have to pick up uh, a manual air control valve. It is gonna come with its own quick release, so you have the battle right there. But, and you might wanna change out the end or just give it a try and see if it's your cup of tea. Either way, I feel like uh, the Ultra 0.2 Gravity Fed is gonna get it done for you right there uh, with its superior quality coating and interior components. Of course, you can scoop them up from spraygunner.com. They have a whole bunch of them. And like I said, sometimes you can get the scratch and dent version uh, for 80 bucks with a cracked case uh, that holds it. It actually doesn't even matter because you're gonna take it out of the box uh, as soon as you get it. 
<laughs> so that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed our, I want to say unboxing and review, but I, I don't know if that's the case for this, our airbrush <laughs> review of the Ultra here. Uh, next up, we're going to do a compressor review uh, to show you how good that smaller one is that I recommend for this one right here. So check out Spray Gunner. You can pick up your own bundle for about 200 bucks, give or take, and uh, be off to the races with a very good quality and affordable setup right out the gate. Spiking bits. <laughs>